So here's a deer skull. The hide's been taken off. Whatever way you guys want to take the hide off, it's pretty easy. Um, the tongue has already been removed. Just make slices down, pull the tongue out. What we're going to show real quick is how to prep it, what other extra stuff you need to take off to, before you introduce it to the beetles. So right here, we're just going to start cutting away the jaw. And so it's pretty easy. You just start cutting it back. The jawbone runs up this way. So what we need to do is cut little relief cuts against the jawbone right on the back here. The important part is that you have a sharp knife. Now it just comes down to brute strength and you just pry them back and the jaw bends right out and then you just work back all of the excess meat. Jawbone is taken off. Now what we want to try to do is it's always best to try to remove as much meat as possible before you introduce it to the beetles. Yeah, the beetles can eat it all, but it'll make your life a little easier if you just take two, three extra minutes and prep as much of this stuff off as you can. What I like to do is save all this scrap for your off season. I mean, this, this meat, the beetles will eat. So I just keep a little pile and uh, save it. So all this extra flappy meat doesn't have to be perfect all the way down to the bone, but try to get as, the majority of it off as you can. Same here on the sides. You know, the key is to use a sharp knife. Obviously work very careful. If you guys don't feel comfortable using your hands, you can always use some uh, needle nose pliers so you're, you're not putting your hands in the way of the knife. It just comes down to personal preference. But again, take the extra five minutes do yourself a favor and save this extra meat and this helps out getting it ready for the beetles. Now what we'll do is this is where the, the jaw came up and this part holds a lot of sort of cartilage right where the ear was and let's cut that out because it's just fat and cartilage. Just be careful not to rake your knife against the bone because it will, it will get right up against it. Now you need to remove the eye. The eye is just a big grease. I mean, it'll take them a while to get through it. The thing you have to remember is that there's very delicate bones right in through here. So you don't want to go and bury your knife um, the best way i found is get a pair of old pliers, pull tension on the eye, and just start working around the eye. Um, you don't want to push all the way in. It takes a little bit of getting used to, knowing how much depth you can put into it. But just start working around the eye, and it'll all start coming out. Again, it just is familiar with your knife and the depth that you can't go. But start off and just work it a little bit. Now that we've made that ring, you just kind of go in and you try to grab the eye out. And you're going to try to pull tension on it to see where you need to make your cuts because you don't want to bury 
the knife. So we just made a few more cuts. And a lot of it I would do without even the knife. You can just start pulling. Because we just don't want to damage all those bones. Now you can kind of see where it's at and what needs to be cut. So we just work. There's your eye. What I do too is I save the eyes. The beetles will eat the eyes. Just put them in our pile. Now we have this, all this little excess kind of eye membrane. If you guys want to try to pull that stuff out, you can. Again, I always just recommend getting as much of this little cartilage stuff out. Um, it just speeds up the beetles and, and the time it takes for them to, uh, to clean the skull. Now we have pretty much a lot of the meat removed. The eye down underneath the throat. Just take as much as you can off. We'll work on the other eye real quick and we'll be done. Now we have our deer skull ready to be thrown into the beetles. As you can see, eyes removed, lower jaw removed, as much meat as possible as we could. Um, that's it. We just want to make sure there's no huge chunks. Those will sit in there if your beetles aren't big enough. That'll sit in there and cause rot and it'll cause it to smell. So this right here, ready for the beetles. Don't mind this little hair. The beetles will eat underneath it and it will come off. If you guys want to take the time to get underneath there, that's fine. I don't really pay attention to it. Um, there we go. Introduce it to the beetles. Make sure it's clean and no other insects have gotten on it. And uh, give it a couple days.